Welcome back everybody. Uh, we're going to start project 16 and since we're working on animation I'm going to show you some more cool animation you can do with App Inventor 2. So let's jump right in, start project 16. Okay, so a few things we're going to go over that we haven't done yet. You'll notice that our screen always looks like this. We haven't changed it yet up until this point. Now if you go down here you'll see the screen orientation it says unspecified well you can change that and it gives you portrait landscape sensor or user now portrait is what it is but it allows you to be able to with the app still flip it around and, and change the, the orientation but if I wanted to just stay portrait I would choose portrait if I wanted to go to landscape, you can see App Inventor will actually change it to landscape and it will stay at landscape. So that's an option. Sensor would just be, again, which way you have it. So it's basically, sensor is basically like having it unspecified and user is basically the same thing. For this one, we want it to stay on portrait. And we're also not going to put a title because we don't want the title to be visible on this one. Okay, so even though it's visible here on the screen, it's not going to be visible to, uh, you know, when we run the program on the phone. So because this is animation, we want to go to our drawing and animation, and the first thing we want to do is bring over a canvas. I'm going to have that fill parent with the height and width. And I'm going to rename this to game canvas click OK now you don't have to rename it if you don't want you're not really gonna uh, you're not really gonna get all that confused with that because you're on one canvas uh, for this particular app but just to try to make things you know better and, and keep more organized I named it the game canvas now you could do this with a sprite if you wanted a regular sprite like we went over and add a picture I want to do this with a ball and you'll see why here shortly I want to make that radius 15. We don't want to set the speed or anything like that with this. We'll worry about that in the blocks, but we do want to change the interval from 100 to 10. And we want to keep the heading 0. Okay, so under sensors now, we want to add clock. And then this is one we haven't done yet that we want to add that's really going to be. Uh, how this app works and it's going to be really really neat we want to do the orientation sensor and what that is is it determines what the orientation of your phone is and you can adjust accordingly so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our blocks editor okay and we're going to make a procedure now remember I was talking about procedures before and how important they are and I'll show you why here shortly. This is uh, another good example of, a, of why we use procedures. So I'm going to use procedure move ball. Okay, so when we move the ball, what do we want to do? Well, we want to change its, um, its heading and its speed. So let's go with the heading. And we want to change the speed. Okay. So the ball's heading is basically where it's at here, which direction it's headed. So like 0 is going to be right, uh, 90 is going to be down, uh, 180 is going to be left. Normally that's how it would work, you know, and then your negative numbers can, can go up. Um, but we left it at 0 because what we want to do is we want to change it to what the orientation sensor is at. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to change the angle because whatever the angle is measured at is where we want the ball to go for heading. Now the ball speed is going to be a little bit different. We actually want to go to math first and we want to bring out the multiplication. Then we want to go to our orientation sensor. We want to go to the magnitude. Now the magnitude is normally only measured in 0 and 1. So why are we putting times well that one when it hits one we want it to be one times 100 to make it you know between 0 and 100 instead of just 0 and 1 so I'm going to do math I'm going to do 0 but I'm going to bring that change that to 100 okay 
Now, one thing we need to do as well with this one is we need to go to the clock, and we need to change that from 1,000 to 10, because we want the interval, the way it works with this being in milliseconds, is if we put that to 10, it's going to, the timer is going to fire 100 times every second, which is going to allow for smooth animation. So what we want to do here is we want to use clock one, one clock one dot timer. So that means that when the timer's up every, you know, mil, you know, the 100 times a second, we want to call the procedure. So call move ball and put that in there. Now, you really cannot test this too well on the emulator. So I want to run this on the phone. And I'm going to try to show it to you. Hopefully, um, it'll show up well enough. And pardon me, I have my phone plugged in because with all this recording I've been doing, I forgot to charge it last night and uh, it kind of died on me. But that's okay. So connect. Go to AI Companion. We're going to click Scan QR Code. We're going to scan the code. And then we're going to hit Connect with Code. Let me move over here a little bit. Now, if you can see this on the phone, hopefully you can, you see we have the ball there. And when I tilt it, you really, I don't know if you'll be able to see it real well, but um, when I go front and back, but like if I go, let me see here, so you can see it on the camera. Um, really can't see it too well but like if I go there you go you can sort of see it there if I kind of just you know you can see that it goes along the middle of the screen there so it goes with the direction that you move and uh, you can actually do this to make several different kinds of games um, if you wanted it so that you just had something down here right and you didn't want it to move you can mess with the heading set you know settings and you can make it so that it's just the angle, and then you can make it so that it never goes anywhere but, um, you know, left and right. And you can do that. So, like, let's say you had a spaceship game or something, you just wanted it to tilt, and then, you know, it'll move, and then you can shoot, you know, when you tap the screen or something. That's good for that. We're going to actually make something uh, a little bit different here. And I encourage you to do this one on your phone, because I want you to actually see it. I mean, you can't see it real well on the camera here. That's just the way it, you know, it is. But um, you know, I mean, there's, there's plenty, plenty you could do, and you could see it on your own phone. Um, but there's so much that this opens up for you as far as animation is concerned, and it's amazing that you can do it with just these few blocks. So I encourage you to just mess with this a little bit and see how well uh, you're able to make this work. Do changes, change speed, mess with angles. You know, if you want to do it with a sprite, see what you can do with the sprite, and just go from there. All right, so I'll see you in the next tutorial.